So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get 5% discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up YouTube, Dow here from Zephyr Games, bringing you my 100% complete TCG and OCG Ghost Rare Collection. This even includes the Dark Magician Girl um, from the latest set and the Dark Magician Girl that came within the, uh, I think it's like the legendary, not legendary, sorry, the prize support cards that we get for World Celebration that came out in the first one. That is safely sealed within the original envelope as it is the most expensive Ghost Rare um, to date. But what I have got is I have got all of the TCG cards that we uh, ever got in Ghost, along with the OCG cards that were alternate versions to some of the TCG ones, and then the continued OCG ones all the way up to uh, the um, Ignition Assault, and obviously the Special Edition Ghosts as well. So I'm going to take you through these in order, show you exactly what ones they are, and go from there. So we start off with, of course, the first ever Ghost Rare, and that was Rainbow Dragon. So I'm trying to get the right kind of level of light on this so you can see the Rainbow Dragon. This one didn't have as much of a 3D effect as the rest because it was uh, new technology. The same for Elemental Hero Chaos Neos, which was the second ghost as well. Moving on to the third, this is where the 3D elements started to be introduced was in Rainbow Neos. Um, but it didn't it still take huge effect uh, until a lot later on. We then had Honest. Followed by one of the most expensive ones, and that is Stardust Dragon in 1st Edition, but I don't own a 1st Edition copy, uh, alongside a Black Rose Dragon, which again looks one of the best ghosts, um, but again, 1st Editions are crazy expensive. Then we get onto the first one that really did make a 3D effect, uh, and that is the Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. Now, if you see the light correctly, you can see that there's a bit more depth, uh, and the hand kind of uh, has a bit more shade to it as well. You then move on to Power Tool Dragon, so of course we are in, uh, went from the GX era straight into the Synchro uh, or 5Ds era. And you've got your Ancient Fairy Dragons. Uh, you pretty much got, the only disappointment is there's not actually a, a Red Dragon Archfiend. I know there's an Assault Mode, but it would have been nice to see Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, and then you can kind of get all of the, um, all of the Legendary Dragons. So then you've got your Ma uh, Majestic Star Dragon, followed by your Majestic Red Dragon. Followed by your Blackwing Dragon as well. So you can see why these are the sought after versions. Um, they are look all amazing. We've then got of course Dragon Knight Draco Equips. Followed by your Shooting Star Dragon. Uh, your Odin Father of Acer. Junk Berserker. And then the first one of the XYZ era is number 17 Leviathan Dragon. <clears throat> Galaxy Eyes Photon. Looks absolutely awesome. Uh, and then you're moving on to your number 39 Utopia Ray. Would have been really cool to get Utopia on this one. Uh, your Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Your Hero Challenger Excalibur. Your number C32 Shark Drake Weiss. Uh, and then your number 92 Heart Earth Draco. Or Heart Earth Dragon, sorry. Uh, and then you go on to your number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tack on Dragon. Now this is where the OCG ones start to get involved because this is where they started getting alternate versions to us. Um, and I will show you those uh, once we complete the TCG version. So you've got Star Eater which is one of the TCG exclusives. Looks absolutely amazing. Look at the earth in the background or the planet in the background. Divine Dragon Knight Felground, again another TCG exclusive. Morbius the Mega Monarch. Bujinki Amaterasu, again, TCG exclusive. Saturnite Deltados, again, TCG exclusive. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Uh, uh, Malloch, Neverlord of the, uh, Never the Burning Abyss, again, TCG exclusive, because obviously Burning Abyss were TCG exclusive at that point. Uh, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, again, TCG exclusive. And then the last official TCG one was Skylight Red Dragon Archfiend, and what 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 a card to choose! You then got exclusive TCG ones that came in the um, Gold Haunted Mine, of course, Blue Eyes with the Stone Tablet behind it, uh, Gauze the Emissary of Darkness, Herald of Perfection, 
<clears throat> Notoria Beast, uh, Notoria Bakirum. Solemn Judgment. And the last one was Mystical Space Typhoon. So these are all the TCG exclusive ones, or the TCG versions. Um, this is all of the TCG ones that we have to date. There are no um, new ones as of yet. Trust me, the second that we bring back Ghost Rares in the TCG, I will be all over them. Uh, as long as they aren't hitting the prices of the Prismatics and as hard to get as the Prismatics, uh, happy days. Um, but right now, if we were to get like a Ghost Apollo, um, I can't see myself paying 350 quid for it. Because then I know in three months time I'll then get another one, which I'll again have to pay 350 quid for. So that's it for the TCG ones. Now onto the OCG ones. So we start off with the OCG exclusives um, that we didn't get, which was obviously C number 39. Um, C number 39, uh, Utopia V Ray, I think it is. <clears throat> and then we've got C number 96. Now this one actually looks really badass. Really, really love this one. Uh, C101. Uh, number 62. Again, that looks really cool. Uh, and then we got Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Or the OCG got Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Odd Eyes Rune Eyes. Uh, <clears throat> Dark Rebellion XYZ Odd Eyes. There you go. And then onto the new, the new ones that came out from the start of the set. So you've got the Paladin that came out in Breakers of Shadow. You've got your Crystal Wing, which looks absolutely badass. You then got your Nirvana High Paladin. Uh, you've got your Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Uh, your Raging Eyes, <coughs> Zark, uh, then your Firewall is the first link, followed by Borrowload, which looks absolutely amazing as Ghost, uh, and then you've got your Xcode Talker, this is really badass as well, I love the effect that it has here. Then you've got your Topological Trisbania, you've got your um, Cyverse Wizard, I believe, or Magician, followed by your Cluckwork. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your Savage Dragon. This is really badass as a ghost as well. Uh, and then you've got your Firewall Exceed Dragon. And then your Borrowed X Charge Dragon. Followed by Firewall Fluid Dragon. And finally, to date, Ignition Assault uh, Ignista Dragon. And then you go on to the OCG exclusives. Now, these ones are absolutely stunning. I love these ones so much. Um, because these are all the old retro ones, um, all from the original series. So you're looking at stuff like Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Relinquished. And of course you've got Blue Eyes, Chaos Max. And the best thing about Chaos Max is it's got like the thunder in the background. So I'm going to try and get the camera to focus on it for you. There you go. And then when you move it and tweak it, you can start seeing the thunder move in the background. It's so cool. Uh, and then you've got Harpy's Feather Duster, so they got these during the um, like the Legendary Duelist sets. So each one that these came out in the Legendary Duelist sets, um, they got a new Ghost Rare, so they got Regeki as well. And then the most recent one that you guys saw me go mental at was the Dark Magician Girl, which came out in Legendary Hero 6. There we go. Uh, and then you've got the Japanese exclusive, so again you've got the Blue Eyes White Dragon original artwork as well. And then you've got your Dark Magician original artwork as a ghost. Followed by Blue Eyes Ultimate. Again, looks really, really badass as a ghost. And finally, for the ghost collection, your Blue Eyes Alternative. Now, obviously, the one card that I haven't shown you is the original Dark Magician Girl. Um, believe me or don't believe me as you wish, but with a card like that, I've kept it in its original envelope. I haven't even opened up the envelope that I received from Konami. Um, and it's just left there as is. So... That is a 100% complete OCG and TCG Ghost Collection. The only thing that makes it different, or the only thing that would make it above 100% in my opinion, is if I got the OCG versions of the TCG ones we already have. But this is one of every single Ghost Rare that is currently in circulation. So if I was to get the OCG versions of these, all I'd be getting is the same, the same version of the same card, just with different uh, language. So to me, this is 100% complete. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoy Ghost Rares as much as I do. I personally love them. Um, it's a shame that the TCG don't get them. I would love them to do a Ghost Rare set again, like a Haunted Mine. Um, and it'd be really, really cool to kind of see Ghost make a comeback. But for now, 
I hope you like this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing a collection like this. Obviously, Rob does do his uh, cover collection. There's obviously, we've got Luke that does an ultimate collection as well. There's OTS collection. Uh, so there's loads of collections that go around that I just like kind of showing these off um, because that's what we are. We're collectors. We enjoy what we, what we do and we enjoy the cards. And, you know, at the end of the day, these are forms of artwork and forms of high technology. So it's definitely awesome to see these in person. Uh, and it's a pleasure for me to share that with you guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, and until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling.